In a meeting with Bon President Ignacio Cassis, President Kenyatta reiterated that Kenya remains an investment destination of choice in East and Central African region. <laughs> He also added that the Swiss companies equally stand to benefit from the huge market provided by the African continental free trade area. In many respects, we share very many things also at a multilateral level. I think we have taken common positions on a lot of issues and I think this is something again we can continue, especially as the world is becoming more and more polarized. So we, we, we need to be able to see again how we can we can partner and hopefully become the voice of reason in this increasingly tense world. The two leaders also sought to boost tourism with President Kenyatta, encouraging people-to-people -people exchanges. In this regard, the need for restoring direct flights between the two nations was emphasized. Without air links, there's no tourism. Without two, there's no trade, there's no business. So it, it is a manner on how we can actually resolve this transport issue while at the same time protecting our respective airlines from uh, any potential uh, uh, problems, especially with regard to regional travel. Father, the two presidents agreed on working together, especially to revamp sectors most affected by COVID-19, noting that the pandemic had proved to the world that only by working together could countries flourish. There is no such thing as national diseases anymore. Uh, one is, it's a global, it's a global scenario. And unless we expand our foothold, our manufacturing capacity across many different zones, uh, we can all end up in serious problems. And I think this is one area where I believe we can, we can work closely on There's big, big uh, uh, entities based here in Switzerland. The two countries, according to the president, are ready to explore resources and bolster their partnership in order to grow their economies. One Minor for K24.